What is going on? Happy Wednesday. Hope you are having a great summer so far and that everything is going well with you here in New York. There's been a massive heat wave, so much so that me and Nigel have been hanging out inside with the air conditioning most of the day for pretty much the, the last week or so. He, he's super sensitive to the heat. Boxers are very sensitive to uh, both really cold and really hot weather. But anyway, I've got something super exciting that I wanted to quickly make a video about uh, here. And I'd love for you to comment below if you can hear me all right, because uh, I'm using this new little microphone here and I still am not sure how good the audio is or if I like it. But um, this past week, we have been officially celebrating five years of the Modern Man program. So I got my Modern Man shirt on here. Uh, the Modern Man program is a coaching program, a service that I started five years ago in July. And I wanted to just kind of share with you a little bit about why I started the Modern Man program and what it's about and the types of things we've been able to achieve over the last five years um, and sort of just reflect back on it because really it's been life-changing for me and I can't imagine my life without the Modern Man program and without the guys that I work with in the program. Uh, and it, it's incredible to think that it's really only been five years but we've come such a long way already and we've been able to build real life friendships and connections and relationships with one another that you know it, it's just completely changed my life and uh, you know I wanted to share a little bit about that w with you guys here today in case it might be something that you want to get involved with down the road um, so why I started the Modern Man program at the time in 2017 I was a personal trainer and I was training private clients around Manhattan and I was basically an independent trainer. I would travel to their building and they'd have a gym in their building and I'd work out with them in that uh, building gym, their apartment gym, or I'd be renting out studios or, you know, all over the city, paying an absurd amount of rent to the studio and then bringing my clients there. And you know, when you're traveling around New York City like that, you're, you're sort of like a, um, you know, an independent traveling kind of trainer like that, there's only so many clients you can fit in your schedule, right? Like, you know, five or 10 clients and, you know, factor in, you know, traveling around the city back and forth. And that's pretty much it, right? You, you can't really work with m much more than that. And I realized once I reached that point that I wanted to help more people, right? I, I, I loved fitness. I knew I loved helping people improve their fitness and their health and their life but I didn't want to cap myself to just helping these 10 people or these, you know, eight people or whatever it was. And that was the main driver for me. I wanted to build something that allowed me to work with more people and help more guys to improve their fitness and improve their health. And therefore, you know, having a greater impact, right? Selfishly wanted to have a greater impact on more people's lives across the world. Um, and that's kind of where I came up with the idea for the Modern Man program. But also I noticed I, you know, I'd been working with all sorts of different clients, men, women, you know, uh, business professionals, all, all different types of people, people in the medical field, people in finance, people on Wall Street, stuff like that. And I realized that my real passion was working with men specifically, right? I wanted them to be able to feel the benefits and the, um, the, uh, yeah, the, the benefits that I had felt in regards to fitness and health and, you know, having more confidence in themselves, you know, uh, being able to get stronger, being able to improve their body, their physique, just look better in the mirror and just love, you know, who they were more, uh, you know, through fitness and through nutrition. And I could really relate to the male clients that I was working with, obviously. <laughs> uh, and, and that's so, sort of what gave me the idea. I realized, you know what, I really love working with these guys and I would love to just focus on working mainly with them to help them achieve the stuff that I've been feeling myself over the years with my fitness. So, you know, that was sort of where the idea came from. But on the backside of that, I always had this kind of idea 
that I didn't want it to just be one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is basically what I do with them, right? They're, they all have their own individualized one-on-one -on -one programs that I'm coaching them. We have one-on-one -on -one check-ins and all that stuff, but I wanted there to be a community aspect to it. I didn't just want to work with a whole bunch of individual clients, but I wanted to build more of a movement of men who all were supporting each other, right? A support system or movement of men who shared the same values with one another, which was taking care of our body, taking care of our health and making this a lifestyle and supporting and encouraging one another along the way, holding each other accountable along the way. And really this is something, this is a group, a community, a movement that I wish that I had, which is why I thought it was such a good idea because oftentimes they say, you hear entrepreneurs and businessmen all the time say, hey, you wanna start a good business, come up with something that is, solves one of your own problems. If you're dealing with that problem, chances are a lot of other people could use a solution to that problem too. And at the time, you know, I had been working in the corporate world, you know, I had been you know, sitting at a desk a lot and I was looking around and nobody around me was super into their fitness, valued their fitness enough to work out before work or work out right after work or to prepare meals, right? Bring lunch to the office. I was the only one doing that. So nobody else cared about this stuff. Nobody else cared about their body enough to, to sort of be in it with me, right? I was all on my own. I was working out every day at 5 a.m. by myself you know, uh, no one else, you know, was there. And, and it was like kind of a lonely journey and it, it shouldn't have to be lonely. So I was really trying to create a movement or a community of guys that I sort of wish that I had. We could all, you know, uh, bond over this. We could all support each other, encourage each other, motivate each other and be in it together rather than doing it alone. Okay. Even if it was virtual, right. I thought that was the coolest idea. And Fast forward now five years, started it in January or July 2017, now we're in 2022 obviously, we've been able to achieve some great things that I'm incredibly proud of all the guys that I've worked with from day one all the way up to the recent group of guys that I'm working with now. Uh, we've had dozens of guys lose 20 or more pounds, dozens of them. And I'm only one person coaching these guys, right? Like I'm, you know, it, it's it's a one man show right now. Where, to me, that's an impressive number, right? And we've had multiple guys reach the 10% body fat mark, 10% range, even under that, and be able to see visible abs, right? That's something that every guy would love to have abs. And we've had multiple guys be able to see definition in their core and sustain it, right? We've had guys lose more weight. We've had guys lose 40, 50, 60, even 80 plus pounds in the program and be able to keep it off. That's the most important part, right? Is making it a lifestyle, making it something you can sustain. So we've had guys see, you know, big amounts of weight loss and totally change their life, totally change their wardrobe, right? Because they, they don't fit into their previous clothes anymore. We've had guys who have competed in events like Tough Mudders and marathons and 5Ks and triathlons and stuff like that and have performance-based goals in you know, beating their time from last time or doing the event in a shorter duration or you know, just doing it longer, right? Performing better and having these huge accomplishments of doing these marathons and events and Tough Mudders and being able to say, man, I did it, not only did I do it, but I did it better than I did it three years ago when I was younger, right? When I was in my 30s, now I'm in my 40s and I did it even faster. Or I'm, now I did it in my 50s and it's even better than back when I was in my 40s. So guys continuing to improve and get better in their fitness as they age, which is the name of the game, right? That's the goal, to look and feel better as we're getting older. Okay, so we can do more things and live a high quality of life. We've had guys who were in the program or are in the program who made such great improvements that it inspired someone in their life to join, right? So they've referred other people that were loved ones 
or family, uh, you know, family members or friends or coworkers. We've had people inspire other people in their life to join and to change their life. So just because one of the guys I work with, a client, decides to get in great shape, something you don't think about how that impacts people in your life. You inspired a significant other, or you inspired a parent, or you inspired a coworker to change their life. They say, oh man, if Kyle can do it, I think I can do it too, right? It makes it more real to them, makes it more realistic. Man, I know Kyle, he's been crushing it, he's been posting all this stuff. You know what, I'm gonna get in great shape too. And they go ahead and, and make, make life-changing progressions in, in their fitness just because one of our guys did that, right? So that's what I'm talking about, making a greater impact. You never know what you do, the consistency that you bring to your fitness and the values that you carry in your life, how they affect the people you love and the people you care about. Someone you care about might live an extra 10 years because they decided to start working out and eating healthy because they saw you do it. I've seen it happen, right? That's a bold statement, but I've seen it happen multiple times, which is why I'm, I'm mentioning it. You, you just, we often don't think of that. We think of fitness as only for ourselves. We think of fitness as a selfish thing. We can choose to do it or not do it, but really it's impacting all the people in our life too, right? Either positively, it's uplifting them, it's motivating them, inspiring them, or it's keeping them down here, right? Oh, we don't have to do that. We can just go to McDonald's. We don't, eh, we don't have to wake up early and go for a walk. We don't have to work out. Eh, let's skip the gym today, right? It's, you're either uplifting others or you're bringing them down, which you know, uh, is, is a, a, a nice uh, light bulb moment for sure. But we've had guys build healthy relationships with food, learn about the nutrition content of food, learn how to track their calories, learn how to track their macros, and you know, be able to include any foods they want in their day, in their diet, and still see results. That's life-changing, to be able to have some pizza and know for a fact you're not gonna gain body fat as long as you fit it within your calories, right? We've had guys build confidence in themselves more than they've had before. Had guys say that they look better than they did in college, better than they did in high school, at 45, at 55 years old. All right, so we've done all these things, but we've also built real life connections. We've had multiple modern man meetups. A lot of the guys I work with are in the New York City general area, New York City, you know, New Jersey, Connecticut, um, Massachusetts, New Hampshire. We've had multiple meetups in New York City where we've gotten together face to face and worked out together, right? And we've done this. Uh, you know, in Miami as well. This year, so far, we've met up five or six of us in Miami. I took a trip down there, and it was an amazing experience. So we're building real-life connections, even though virtually is where we mainly communicate. I, I was thinking a couple weeks ago, I was telling Morgan, man, if we take a vacation anywhere, chances are we're going to know someone there who's going to want to meet up with us and we could, you know, uh, meet up with them for breakfast or for a workout or something like that. We choose to go anywhere and I can reach out to someone in the group and say, hey, do you want to meet up? Or, hey, do you know any good places here? Or, hey, like, where's a good place to stay? And that's because of the connections and real life friendships that the modern man movement has grown. Right, And that's not just me, it's any of the other guys. There's been guys in the group who have met up on their own, not with me, <laughs> right? Like they, they're traveling somewhere and they say, oh, he, that guy's in that area, that guy's in you know, DC or that guy's in uh, Texas or whatever. You know, and they've actually met up on their own because these are real life connections. And, and that's something I'm super proud of if you can't tell. So. You know, that I would say is the biggest thing that I've gained and that we've gained as a, as a group, as a community from the Modern Man program is this support system that is incredibly strong. And it's almost like a fitness family. It's almost like a, a group of friends or a, a, a family that is supporting your journey, supporting your fitness, and is always there for you 
right? We communicate every single day in our private group. I do a live video like this for five minutes Monday through Friday in that group. And these guys are always there for you. They're always there for me. And they're just a, a great group of guys. So yes, to me, technically they're my clients, but I consider them to be much more than that. I consider them to be friends. I consider them to be people who, you know, I'd be totally fine to have at my wedding, right? Like, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of them were at my wedding next year in 2023. So I personally can't imagine my fitness journey or even my life at this point without the Modern Man program. And one of my biggest missions over the next five years or 10 years or however many years going forward is to make it the best possible coaching program for men that I can make. Okay. One thing I've been very adamant about is improving the program, improve, improving my coaching, improving the protocols year after year. And there's been some guys who've been in the program since day one for five years. And they'll tell you every single calendar year, there's something that's a little better. There's something that's a little different. There's something that I've learned from coaching more guys that I can implement and add into the program to make it even better. And these constant upgrades, these constant adjustments, these constant um, tweaks to make things even better, make things even more dialed in, is what I believe to be why one reason why the success rate is so high. So I was doing some math, and so far here in 2022, we've had up to about 40 guys or so in the program, and there's a 92% continuing rate. What I mean by that is the the program is 12 weeks long to start because I know in 12 weeks, not only can I get you great results, but you're going to give it a fair shot. You're not going to look at it as a quick fix that you're going to do two weeks of it and then quit. I ask for at least a 12 week commitment because you're giving it a fair shot and I know that I can get you good results in that amount of time. And 92% of guys have continued past the 12 weeks. You don't have to, it's totally optional. You can stop after 12 weeks, but 92% have continued. So what that tells me is that they're getting some value, right? There's, there's, it's something that they want to do. It's something that they want to be a part of. They want to continue seeing results longer term. And that's probably what I'm most proud of after building the community and building the support system that it is and true friendships is how high the success rate is because that's the one knock on online coaching that I can see is that it's a the success rate isn't always there right some people do coaching and it's like a 50% success rate half drop off half do okay right well this is that that's really my main priority is how you know like how dialed in can we get this to the point where every single person is seeing some sort of improvements something that they're happy with they know they're moving in the right direction, right? So I'm committed to making this the best coaching program for men going forward that I possibly can. I'm committed to growing the community even more, getting more guys to join us and transform their own life, transform their own body and their own fitness. And yeah, that's, you know, that, that's been my main mission for the last five years and it will continue to be my main mission. It's something that I'm incredibly passionate about and I wake up every morning and that's the first thing I think about is the guys in this program. So that's what I'll be doing and if you want to be a part of it, if you want to explore it and just see if it's for you, see if it makes sense for you, what I'll do is I'll put the link to apply for the program down below in the comments. You can check it out and... To be fully honest with you, that's one reason why I think the success rate is so high is because I do have an application process. And I don't just say that to, to say that. I say that because there are times where I tell people, hey, like this doesn't actually seem like a great match for you or for me or for whatever reason. And I may point them in a different direction. I really want to take on guys who I am 100% confident that I can help them. And I have no problem turning down money to do that. Because as a coach, there's nothing more annoying than working with someone who you shouldn't have taken on in the first place, right? It's really on the coach. Um, so I'm at a point in my life where 
I'm looking for guys who are serious about their fitness. I'm looking for guys who are ready and willing to transform themselves and to improve their, their fitness and nutrition and make it a priority in life. And I'm gonna meet them halfway and do everything in my power to coach them along the way to get in the best shape of their life too. So if that's you, go ahead and check it out. But I hope this was somewhat insightful. Um, those of you who are in the program who might be watching this, I appreciate you. Super grateful to be part of your journey. And let's keep crushing it as we go into the second half of 2022 and head into 2023. All right, thank you so much. See you on the next video.